Hey y'all. So I think the weather is gonna turn on me today. Um, so we're just gonna try to make this kind of quick. Let me address the makeup. Cause I never wear makeup. I just, I don't really, I don't wear makeup anymore. Uh, but I decided to do like a fun little photo shoot thing for myself today. So I did my face up and I have some uh, chai tea because I had an early morning and a late night. So <clears throat> let's get on to uh, what I want to talk about today, which is our rabbits. So rabbits, a friend of mine, uh, actually she's really new to YouTube. Um, her name on here is A Wedded Life. Her name's Stephanie. She's great. If you are in an urban setup, um, she's someone you may like to check out because she's got a lot smaller property, but she's doing a lot with it. Recently, she did a video talking about weaning her rabbits, her meat rabbits, because she has them too. And uh, I just wanted to kind of jump on her topic and get up a little bit more information because she and I do our weaning very similarly. So when it comes to weaning my rabbits, um, the earliest I will do it is generally four weeks. Uh, and I only do it that early if everyone is eating a lot um, of pellets. I wanna make sure that they're not relying on mom for their sole um, source of nutrition. I really uh, decide when to wean based on each litter. Alice here, her babies are good. They're really big. They're not really nursing that much anymore. They're ready to be moved. Same thing for Kate over here. Her babies are big and ready. Allie's babies, because they're so small, they're right here. Um, and I think they're still nursing quite a bit. I'm just gonna leave them on her until I feel like they're ready to go. I don't have like a set time that I wean them that are like, oh, they have to be weaned by this point. Other than like, you know, maybe eight weeks. At that point, I'm like, oh, okay. You guys are definitely done. Alice's litter and Kate's litter are actually both ready to be weaned. We have an empty cage here because we have recently processed the last of our grow outs from last time. So today I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the babies from each mom and put them in here. Now I say some because I don't like to take all of the babies at one time. Mostly because as someone who has breastfed before, um, I know how uncomfortable it can be if you go too long without, you know, a baby nursing. So I don't want to take all of the babies from her. I want her to be able to uh, produce less and less milk and not get engorged or risk, you know, mastitis. Most people think about goats and like big dairy animals having issues with mastitis, but it can happen to any animal. So to prevent that for our rabbits, we don't take their entire litter at once. I'll take most of them, I'll probably leave two in with her. And then in a couple of days, I'll take those two away. This is the not so fun part. Her babies have not been handled very much, so I'm just gonna kind of pick them up and toss them in the other one. All right, babies, come on. Okay, <laughs> that was a little rough, um, but it was quick. Go ahead and move their water over. There we go. You guys have water right here. There you go. Teach the others, okay? Now I'm gonna move Kate's babies over. Um, I do combine litters, and at this age, usually they're fine. If they were like eight weeks, you know, something like that. It is a little harder to do, but it's not like I'm adding one baby with like five babies. It's gonna be pretty close to even. So they each have their own little team if they have to fight back, but they should be okay. Usually they kind of hop around and go crazy for a couple minutes and then they're good.
Okay, well I have all of the babies in there that I'm gonna put in today. Yes, they are definitely crowded. We have a really large grow out pen over here. Uh, and we actually have a second one of those that's almost done being built, but we have to finish building their watering systems before I can put them in those two big cages. Um, so they're just gonna all bunk up together right there for a little while. But that does mean I'm finally gonna get to make that video for you guys, hopefully. <laughs> We've tried several times and something always happens. So hopefully I'll be making that watering system video for you very soon. Uh, probably within the next couple of days. So we have 10 grow outs in here. We've got two and two more over there. I don't know what this one's deal is. It's got really weird fur. It's like long. Bizarre. I don't know what's going on. These guys are, you know, growing well considering how small they are. Um, they're all very perky and happy. We're gonna be selling this entire litter as pets because uh, they're just so small. And that's really why I have Allie. She's a good source of income. We can sell her babies. And uh, it works out pretty well for everybody. Just a couple days ago, Margo here had another litter. She had eight and they are doing amazing. Uh, it's been really hot here and I talked about that we were gonna start shelving. And we have, today just happens to be a little cooler so they're okay being outside. But I wanna show you these cuties. Hey Margo. Oh, you got your zucchini. Put it over there. Look at them. They're so fat. Look at those little bellies. So yes, she had eight. She's got, uh, I think two, only two of them are red. And then she's got some other colors. They they could be several different colors. Um, we'll see in a couple weeks what they turn into. So cute. Doing a good job, Margo. Proud of you, Mama. So I just wanted to give you a little information about when and how we wean our rabbits. Uh, oh, let me show you something else. We have our first um, pasture, rotational area set up. This one's not done yet. We have the first line we have to do the others but uh the first one's done and so all of the girls are in here there's sabella there's zimri and then ada is inside the doghouse and then sayla is up against that tree there definitely was a good bit of fighting that started when we put them all together but uh they pretty quickly established like a pecking order and they're all fine now. Since all of the girls are out there on that pasture now, um, we let the bucks have this pen, the whole thing to themselves. Hey Mordecai. You gonna taste my fingers? The wind is coming, which means I believe the rain is coming behind it. Well, just realized I left my mug out here, so I have to go get that before I can escape the impending weather. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to get in from, you know, the weather, because it's coming. Um, thank you guys for hanging out while we walked around, checked on everybody, talked about some things. You know, I had a good time. I hope you did too. If you liked hanging out in our little corner of YouTube today, please consider liking, sharing, or commenting down below. This just tells the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed this video and that it should show it to other people. And it's a really non-committal way of supporting us. Now, if you feel like committing to us, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell, and that just means you're gonna get a little pop-up every time we put out a new video. If you'd like to get to know us on a little bit more personal of a level, a great way to do that is to check us out on Instagram. I post there on a daily basis, if not an actual post, then I'm updating our stories very regularly. It's a great place to see things as they're happening instead of on YouTube, where there's generally a little bit of a delay. Okay, I just felt a couple of raindrops, so I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. Until we meet again, bye, y'all.